Welcome back. I'm John. This is guitar lesson number three in my series of free online guitar lessons. And um, I also wanted to say that if you want to find music for these, just go to my website, johnbeamancomposer.com. And there are some PDFs that you can download and um, you can follow along on the music. I put some new ones on this a week for uh, lesson one and lesson two as well because just I made some new copies that uh, clarify things a little bit. So on this lesson we are going to first of all I'll review a little bit um, about what we did um, last time. So last time we learned the names of the notes on the uh, E string. So we had open E and then when you put your first finger down it's F and then three fingers is G. And we also learned about note values, how long you hold the note. Um, if it's a filled in note, um, we call those quarter notes, those are one beat each. If it's an open note that has a line coming down from it, that's called a half note and those are two beats. One, two, three, four. And then finally, the open notes that have no line on it, um, those are called whole notes, and those are for four full long beats. One, two, three, four. So some different uh, note values. Um, let's go back and review a little bit of uh, one of the songs that we didn't do last time, um, but I hope you were able to practice, and that was called Joyful Melody. And um, I'm going to play it for you first, and then we'll try it a couple times together. So here's me first. Two, three, four. Okay, so that's how it goes. Let's try it together on the count of four. One, two, ready, play. E, E, F, G, F, E. E, E, F, G, G, E, G, E. Okay, how'd you do? Uh, let's try it one more time. This time I'm going to add some chords along with what you're playing to kind of fill things out. So you've got the melody and I've got the chords. On the count of four. One, two, ready, play. Okay, very good. Well, let's move on to this week's lesson. So on this week, um, we are going to focus on the second string, and that's called the B string. And uh, we already know open B. When you put your first finger down, right in the middle of the fret there, that is called C. Now I'm gonna add two more fingers. And when I have all three fingers down, that note is going to be D. Uh, also, uh, this week, some musical things. Um, in the, on the music, the two lines on the music lines, the distance on the inside is called a measure. And usually a measure has uh, the same number of beats in it. For instance, four beats in each measure of the song. Um, and the other new thing is the time signature. So we introduce a time signature of 4-4 four, four time, which means four counts in each measure. 
Um, okay, and that's what we're going to have for our first song, which is Be Happy. Uh, let me play it for you once. One, two, starts on B. B, e, B, e, C, D. little tune. Um, shall we try it together? I'll give you four beats. One, two, ready, start on B. Then first finger, three fingers D, one finger C, back to open B. First finger, now D, C, B. Second line, C. B. And that's how it goes. All right. So when you're practicing, start things slowly at first. Try to keep it very steady. And then gradually you can speed things up. Um, the next thing we have is something called a C major scale. A scale is a group of notes that go up in order in what we call steps in music. Go up and sometimes come down. And that's what this one does. It's a five note scale. So we play two C's, two first fingers, two D's. Then I cross over to the first string to play two E's. First finger, two F's, two G's. And then back down, F fi first finger, no fingers, E, D. Now we're going to play each note one time. C. different now. C, E, G, E, C. That last part is called an arpeggio when the notes skip like that. Um, it's what we call a, uh, a broken chord. If I were to put all those notes together, it would sound like that. So something to watch out for. Um, let's try the scale together then starting very, very slowly. So put your first finger down for C, and then we're going to do three fingers for D. One, two, ready, play. C, D, open E, first finger F, G, back down, F, first finger, E, D, Okay, so you can gradually speed that up and it will become uh, more familiar to you. Um, there's another song on uh, lesson number three. It's called uh, New World Symphony. And then we go to something called surf guitar. So this is a lot of fun. Um, it starts with a rest. That little squiggly thing there is a one beat rest. So we actually rest on the first beat and then we play a D with our third finger. F first finger. F sharp, second finger, that's a new note. It's second finger is F sharp, then three G's. Back to F, D. F, F sharp. Okay, so that's uh, surf guitar. Um, let's do that one together. I'll give you uh, four beats and then actually give you five counts because we have that rest in the first beat of the first measure. So one, two, three, four, rest. D, F, F sharp, three 
G's. F. And that one's actually a good fingering exercise, too, to get that nice uh, coordination with your fingers. Uh, you can gradually, once you get it at the slow speed, then you can... A little bit of surf guitar. Uh, the last thing in our lesson is um, going to be chords, so I'm going to step on up a little closer to the camera here. And we actually have some new chords on this page. Um, and we're just using three string chords for now. Later on, we'll get into um, bigger chords, um, but we'll just make it easy at first. This is called an E minor chord. And so this one, you use zero fingers and you just strum the bottom three strings. Okay, now the next chord is a little trickier because it uses what we call a bar. So I'm going to take my first finger and put down the first fret uh, on the first string and the first fret on the second string. I have to squeeze pretty firmly there. Then I'll put my second finger on the second fret on the third string. And there's the chord. So we have the E minor. And then the bar chord, the F. Okay? And if we add those chords to the chords we already know, we can do a rainbow song. So this one's going to start on C. And it goes to A minor. Okay, I'm going to move back to my chair here. And we'll go over those chords. Um, so we have C for two beats, A minor for two beats, E minor for four beats. Now the tricky one, the bar chord, the F. And then back to C. Back to the F again. And C. pretty chord progression. Um, okay, so let, let's try that one together. So have your C chord ready to go, and then remember you're going to put your second finger down for the A minor on the count of four. Not too fast. One, two, ready, play. C. Second finger down A minor, then no fingers. Get ready for the F chord. And back to C. F again. C. D minor. G. And C. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Okay, here's what the full chord sounds like. I'm going to play the full chords, and why don't you play the three note chords, and we should have a nice duet here. On the count of four. One, two, three, C. A minor, E minor. F. Back to C. F again. C. E minor, G. So practice those chords. You just have to go really slow and practice going back and forth many times until it just becomes natural uh, after a while. So I hope you enjoyed lesson three. Remember, you can find music at johnbeemancomposer.com.
www.ethicalcoachingcenter.com. And uh, happy practicing, and I hope to come out with a, a new lesson very soon.